This video is a result of our design team's struggle with nested components. The issue we faced was that while working on menu item instances that were nested components, we kept ending up with duplicate icons every time we changed the master, and we could not understand why, neither we could find the solution on the web. I will now demonstrate to you the issue we faced along with a turnaround on how to resolve it. So here on my baseboard, you will see icons from Line Awesome icon font that I have turned into components. And also you can see a group that consists of a text label and a canvas. I will proceed by adding an icon in my group. And to do so, Let's say I want to add the uh, dragon icon. The dragon is not a component yet, so I will make it so. It doesn't matter if it is a font icon or if it is uh, an outline. So now, since I created this as a component, I can go to my Assets panel. I can click here on my canvas and I want to drag and drop my icon here. I will check my distances and I will proceed to the layers to make sure that everything is in the proper place. So now I see that under my group I have my icon which is a component and I see I can notice that it is not the master component because the green diamond here is empty. I can locate the master easily by uh, finding it on the board. And now I will create the whole thing as a component. So now what we have ended up creating is a component that has another component inside of it, which means we have created a nested component. And now we want to reuse it. So I would select repeat grid from here. Let's say we want to have four menu items and I will adjust the space by minus one. And let's create some other menu items. Let's say the second is a cut. I can change the text from here very easily while it remains the same instance of the master. And I can select this icon carefully to always see the diamonds and I can find my icon cut from the assets panel and replace it. Same here, let's say this is a horse. And I will not change the last one on purpose and you will see why. So here we have two items that are, are overriding the master and we see the dot. One that is a master and one that is an instance from the master but has not been edited. So let's say I now change my mind and I want my first item to be a crow. You see that the master, the change in the master is reflected here, but it does not reflect to the instances that I have overridden with something else. Let's see what happens to the icon now. If I try to swap uh, the icon of my master nested component, let's say I'll use this, look what will happen to the rest three instances. So the master is supposed to propagate changes to all instances that do not have an override. But look what happened here. For some reason, we ended up with duplicate icons. We got both the override and the change in the master that uh, occurred by swapping the master. So this can be resolved in two ways. One that is not scalable. We can go in this instance to our layers panel, try to find this extra icon and delete it. But of course, this is not something that works at scale. So one way, the only way basically we found that this uh, problem will not exist 
is that in the case you want to do a change in the master component, um, what you can do is you can uh, locate the main of the nested. And now, if I am going to the assets and let's say I want to swap it with a hippo, you see that nothing happens here. And we don't want that. So if we wanted these two chains, what we can do is that uh, in this case we have font icons. So what I can do very easily is uh, let's say I want the hippo, okay? I can get in here, copy it since this is a font, but if it was an outline, I would just copy the outline. And now I will get inside my master and paste it. As you can see, uh, this has resulted in changing the master. You still see the problem here because uh, it existed from before. So let's try to test it now by removing the extra layer. So let's do that one more time. Now we have overrides here. I'm selecting this. I want to change this with this icon. Copy, getting into the master, pasting, and I end up with what I wanted from the start, which is a change in the master that does not end up with duplicate icons on uh, the instances that have an override. Thank you for watching.